Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I will unpack and show you the items inside this goodie bag that I received at the Urban Sketches Symposium in Auckland. So this should be the same goodie bag that the instructors received and the items inside this goodie bag are slightly different compared to the items in the goodie bags for the workshop and sketch pass participants. Now before I unpack this, I have to say that some items have already been removed by my wife, such as the watercolor dot cards, the brochures, the pamphlets, the Claire Fontaine paper bag, and I believe a bottle of ink was removed from the cardboard box that I was using to pack this. So that ink, that bottle of ink was probably removed at the customs for whatever reason. So this bag will not have everything. This is the mascot for the symposium, the kiwi bird, and my bag has a little hole here unfortunately. Let me just take out all the items first and there are many items. These are two travel booklets from Hanamole. They come with acid free 140 GSM sketch paper and this is palm size so this is paper bag and very portable. These are Claire Fontaine sketch pads with 90 GSM sketch paper. This is the Strathmore watercolor travel journal with 20 pages of 300 GSM 100% cotton watercolor paper. And this travel journal, if I remember correctly, is only available in this paper bag format and it comes with a rubber band to hold the covers together. And the paper quality for this travel journal is excellent. It's really good. It's just that this is not available with the hard cover. This is another Claire Fontaine sketch pad with 90 GSM sketch paper, 160 GSM marker heavyweight paper from Winsor Newton. The paper surface is very smooth, so this is made for markers. 360 GSM black watercolor paper from Van Gogh, Royal Talents. Yeah, the paper is very thick. So I believe this is mostly for colored pencils or gouache. And now let's look at the drawing media. Starting with this watercolor box set from Daler Rowney. I actually put a piece of wax paper here to prevent the paint from sticking to the cover. You can see some paint is already on the cover. There are 24 colors in this box set and it comes with this little watercolor brush. I shall just leave the wax paper here. I will review that in the future. This is a box set of Winsor & Newton Studio Collection Sketching Pencils. It comes with Graphite 4B, 8B, White Charcoal, Sepia, Hard Charcoal, and Medium Charcoal. This is a custom box set of pencils sponsored by Creta Color, who has been the sponsor for several Urban Sketches Symposium. So inside this box, we have some Aquagraph pencils in red, teal, and brown. This is Creta Color Marino. This is the Graphite Aquarelle, and this is the Creta Color Nero, which I really like because this is oil-based charcoal, which gives you a really dark line, and the uh, pencil lines don't smudge as much compared to Graphite. Here's another watercolor box set, and this one is from Call. The packaging is quite nice. This box set is called the Core Mini Urban Sketch Box and it comes with only six colors. So let's look at the box. So this is a metal watercolor box with round mixing wells. Oh, you see, they actually use wax paper to cover the paint. And okay, the paints are actually inside the pen so if you want to remove or replace the colors or paint you can do so easily and it seems like there are additional mixing wells here oh this is some sort of silicone that feels like rubber this is actually not solid you can see it actually moves here's another watercolor box set and this one is from daniel smith and this is the sketcher box set with six colors so let's Take a look at the watercolor box. By the way, I have already reviewed some of Daniel Sneem's watercolor boxes a few years ago on my YouTube channel. 
which I will try to remember to link in the video description below. Okay, they have some sort of foam to prevent the paint from sticking to the cover. And these are the six colors, hand pot colors. And we have some additional uh, color information here. Daniel Smith actually sells several artist series box sets. So we have color palettes from Listeel, Jane Blundell, Brenda Swenson, and Julie Ann Carlson. And we have one tube of watercolor paint from Sennelli. This is Oprah Rose. And now we'll look at all the pens and markers. So this is the Fable Castell CX Color Ballpoint Pen. We have some technical drawing pens. These are from Winston Newton. We have 0.1, 0.3, 0.5, all the way to 1.0. Let's take a look at the pen tip. So it's a technical felt nib. And these two are Faber Castell Speed X7 pens with 0.7 tip. It looks like a gel pen to me. Faber Castell Multi Mark Plus markers. There are one, two, three, four, four of them. This is a Winsor & Newton Pro Marker Brush with dual tips. This one is a cool gray color. So this is the chisel tip. And this side has the brush tip. This is also a cool gray five. And this is a black. This is a Fable Castell Elbrecht Dura watercolor marker. This is warm gray. It has dual tips as well. A bullet tip here and a brush tip on the other side. And this is the other color, Scarlet Red. Also a bullet tip and a brush tip on the other side. It says the ink is pigmented, but there is no pigment information. This is a portable watercolor brush from Princeton. This is a size 4 Neptune. I like the color of this metal. This is nice. This looks like wood. Next, we have another watercolor brush. Um, this one is from Escoda. This is the Perla brush with the sable or sword tip. This is a synthetic brush. And this one is probably from Escoda as well. Yep, this is also the Perla watercolor brush. It's a synthetic brush. And this looks really beautiful. This is a watercolor brush that I have never seen before. So this is a new product for me. And oops, I see some stray hairs, unfortunately. Anyway, this watercolor brush uses pigmented ink. These are really nice and I will review them in the coming weeks and months. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not so that you can get notified when the reviews appear. See you guys in the next video. Bye.